Hi guys, I uh, wanted to do a quick craft haul update, just some goodies. Um, I had some birthday money left, so I went and did some shopping. I just wanted to show you guys what I got. Um, first I went to Michael's, nothing out of the ordinary there really. Um, I picked up some craft wire for a project I'm working on. I also picked up some charms while I was there, and these are for that project too. Um, let's see if I can get these turned over and visible. So they're kind of beachy and ocean themed. I'm working on making some Christmas ornaments for some friends, kind of commemorating our vacation that we just went on together. So I'm gonna have little glass jars filled with sand from that beach and then put these charms on there. I think it's gonna be really cute. I also bought this set of glitter, um, thinking I would use these bottles maybe for that project, but they're a little small, so I ended up ordering some glass bottles online, but now I have bottles of glitter. Hi, Gypsy. Hi. Yeah, you're blocking mommy's light. You gotta move. Yes, come on. Come over here. Good girl. I also, at Michael's, this is probably my most exciting purchase, got these Martha Stewart Glitters um, Neons, which, um, if you are familiar with the price of these, they're usually t about $20. Um, and these were on clearance, just the neon ones. Hi. They were on clearance for about $6 each, so that's super awesome. They, in the three different colors, they each have a fine glitter, some iridescent stars, little diamonds, and octagons, so yes, in neon yellow, orange, and pink. So that was what I got at Michael's, and then I took a little detour to Tuesday morning looking for some stuff for my house. And of course, end up getting craft stuff while you're there because it's so cheap. Um, so I got four different colors of the uh, Martha Stewart epoxy clay. Um, I've never used this before, but I use a product called um, Epoxy Sculpt for my pony customizations and other kind of craft projects that's a similar two-part clay um, that then air dries. So these are ones, the ones that she had for her, uh, the Martha Stewart jewelry line. And they were on clearance at Tuesday morning, so they were about a dollar a pack. So I got green, pink, navy blue, and light blue. So I thought those would be fun to play with and see if I like them. I picked up this jumbo quote unquote bottle cap and it's heart shaped. Can't decide if I want to use this for a resin piece because I think it would be really fun to do a big piece in there um, or use it for some kind of deco den because it looks like a little pie pan. Um, but that was a dollar. I picked up just a giant silver ink pad for two dollars. I got some Martha Stewart paints. These are all pearl um, and these were a dollar and I know these are usually about three dollars in regular craft stores so I got a, let's see, bubblegum pink, duckling which is like a really pale um, yellow, school bus which is that kind of school bus halfway between orange and yellow color and rubber ball which is kind of a slightly orangey red so just some nice paints and then I got some stickers I got um, just this set of uh, Martha Stewart alphabet stickers they're a really pretty blue glitter that was a dollar and then I got two sets of these um, these were a dollar each as well. They're the same design, but one is white glitter and one is black glitter. 
and they just have all sorts of fun designs. Um, just all sorts of good stuff. Glasses, like these little silhouettes, just little cameras, umbrellas, just fun stuff for a dollar. I mean, those are great. And then um, I got a couple of pads of scrapbook paper because Tuesday morning is great for that. So I got this one. It's DIY shop. Um, and this is a pretty good example of the kinds of papers I buy all the time are ones with these kind of old textures. I really like old like paper prints. This one's like a through the viewfinder kind of frame. There's star charts, old maps. Hi Jasper. More, you know, lined paper, wood grain, music notes. So, rulers. This is the kind of stuff I always tend to get. This is like old dress patterns. Um, so kind of ephemera looking sort of things I'm really drawn towards. So that was a nice pad for $7. And then this one um, that's a Maggie Holmes. And it's nice because it's got some vellum sheets in here. Um, so there's some fun designs, there's some floral, there's again some kind of old paper patterns which I love, there's clouds, and then interspersed in here there'll be like a standard page, and then there'll be, oh I just fell out in my hand, a vellum sheet that goes with it, with that same pattern, so get back in there, you. Um, some bricks, uh, I liked these birds a lot. I really love this vellum page that has the script letter uh, writing on it. The floral one is really pretty too. So this one just kind of spoke to me. And it's a good diverse pad. This one's really fun. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's just kind of that. Clearly the vellum sheets fall right out. And of course cameras. I can't say no to things with cameras on them. So, and doilies. So yeah, that's another fun pad. So that's everything I got in my little craft jaunt out to Michael's and Tuesday morning. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.